Hi, this is Stephen Pierce, and I want to welcome you to another coaching video session on the power to create profits. And what I want to talk to you about today is this. Sales cycle optimization. Now, most of, most of the times when we think about optimization, we tend to think about search engine optimization, which is really good for your business, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about sales cycle optimization because that is one of the most important areas that you should look at if you really want to boost and accelerate the profits of your business. Now, before you can actually optimize your sales cycle, you need to first understand what that sales cycle looks like. So I want to just give you a basic look at what the sales cycle looks like. You can actually build this out, but this is the basic framework that pretty much every business has in their sales cycle. So let's take a quick look at that. You have what's called awareness. You have interest. You have evaluation. You have trial. And you have adoption. So as somebody is made aware of your product or service offering, they may become interested in it, interested to the point where they look to do an evaluation of it, comparing it to what the other options or alternatives are, to the point where they like it, so they decide to give it a trial. And it's at this point that we hope that they adopt it and make it a part of their regular processes to deciding to use us as their product or service of choice. Now, in sales cycle optimization, what we do is we look at each individual link in that sales cycle and see how we can optimize that link to over make the process more efficient, more effective, and of course, more profitable. Now, how do you take a look at each one of these links to optimize them? Do something very simple. It's called, and it's very simple, just write this down. It's called E-R-R-C. That's eliminate, reduce, raise, create. So what you do is you look at each part of the chain. So let's look at the awareness chain. And you ask yourself, you know, looking at what it is you're currently doing, what could you possibly eliminate that may not be working, that may not be necessary, that is probably hindering the process, that is de-optimizing the process. So we look at what can we possibly eliminate from the awareness chain. And then we look at, well, what could we reduce? Maybe not completely eliminate it, but what could we possibly reduce from the awareness chain that could probably help the optimization of this part of the cycle? And then what is it we can actually raise? Maybe there's something in here that we're doing that we're not doing a lot of that we should raise. Or maybe there's something we're not doing at all and we may, may want to go ahead and create it. Let me give you an example. Let's just say you sell some kind of information product online and you're doing some, uh, some pay-per-click advertising and it's doing okay. So maybe you want, may want to look at eliminating it, okay? Or maybe you want to look at reducing the amount of money that you're spending on the um, pay-per-click advertising. And let's just say you're not doing any offline advertising to make people aware of what it is you have to offer. So maybe you want to create an offline campaign. And what you do is you take some of the dollars from the pay-per-click campaign, being you're going to reduce the amount of, cam uh, of advertising you're doing with the pay-per-clicks, and you're going to pass some of those dollars over to the offline campaign, so you're going to create that. See how that looks? We're not going to completely eliminate it. We're just going to go ahead and reduce the amount of dollars that we're spending on the pay-per-clicks, and we're going to create an offline campaign, and we're going to move those dollars over to there. And then maybe you are doing a little bit of affiliate advertising or affiliate marketing, if you will, but not enough or not as much as you could. So maybe that's an area that you may want to look to raise on the awareness side. You see how that works? So look at each cycle uh, in this chain. Look at the awareness cycle. Look at the uh, evaluation. I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the interest, the evaluation, the trial, and the adoption. Look at each part of, those, of the chain. And then ask yourself, what can I eliminate? What can I reduce? What can I raise? And what can I create? And then by the time you're complete, you will have optimized your sales cycle. All right, get to work. This is Stephen Pierce, and remember, until next time, you do have the power to create profits.